much more understanding uh, discussions when you're having these interviews or post offer engagement uh, discussions with them. So Hina, how do you measure, how will you measure that your company is being uh, engulfed by the offer ghosting, internal or external? So what I did differently with a couple of my previous organizations is we used to have a buddy system uh, uh, identified even uh, immediately after a person has accepted the offer. And this buddy is not from HR or recruitment. It will be a buddy from a business. Now this person might be, for example, if I'm hiring a manager technology, I would identify an experienced manager in the same firm who has been there, done that in the firm to be, become the buddy. So this match of uh, e equal level or equal peers will go hand in hand because the person who's expected to come in into the role can have open discussions with the e employee and then go ahead uh, uh, with all the most, most of the uh, clarifications he or she would have. Hina, one liner from you before I ask the audience for some questions. So actually, the point you mentioned is very valid, uh, but I would like to add another perspective. Like many of my mentees say, you know, after giving an interview, the HR has ghosted them and they're not getting call from HRs. So I would like to, you know, say that people should start taking more follow-ups on the mail as well as connect with them personally. Once you have a personal touch with the HR, with the company, and why exactly you want to join this company, People are giving, you know, multiple interviews in any of the organization at the initial stage where just they think, okay, ho jayega, to I'll join it. But no, if you have a personal connect with the product, with the company, in that case, obviously, you know, even if you'll get a little less offer, person will join the organization. So this is from, you know, again, from employees' point of view, they should take more follow-ups and connect uh, and have a personal connect. I will give it a name called transparency and right. closure of end to end. Start and end, then you move forward. The closure. Uh, from audience, any suggestions, any tips, any questions? Yes, please. Unfortunately, you have to speak so loudly that we can. working. Uh, yeah, myself, Amarjeet, and thank you for the opportunity. Uh, we are working on the offer ghosting software, but still I have a, this question, because this uh, problem still lurks. I know you all discussed the things about like what measures you can take from company side and the employee side. But the thing is that still now startups, small scale company, they are the one who suffer most because they don't have much budgets and resources. If they go through all the long process of hiring and then the candidate just disappears after saying, yes, that I will come and join, but at the day of joining, they don't come. Still, what we can do for them? I know for big organization, it's fine. Even if they have a loss, they can say, they can cope up with that. Understand your pain. Yeah. So I think, sorry, your name? Amarjeet.
months to a year in advance. Do some, put some of the fundamentals in place. Get your own, you know, good employee base in place, and then move in to start up. You know, those are some.